So one of my customers instant messaged me on Facebook and said, hey, I've got a microphone that's kind of messed up. Do you think you can fix it? And you know what I responded, of course. Sure. All puns intended, by the way. Anyway, the microphone came to me with uh, wires hanging out, a little uh, male plug missing from the end. So I don't think it'll be too much trouble to put this back together. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my phone and go look at the wiring diagram because I don't know off the top of my head which terminal gets the red wire and which gets the blue. And if I type in uh, SM58 wiring, guess what? It takes me right to the Sure microphone user guide for the SM58, which of course has the uh, wiring diagram right on it. it. Worked out pretty well. Before we solder anything, one of the first things that we need to do is make sure we have prepped the wires properly for soldering. I'm going to very carefully strip a little bit off the end. Again, we don't need a whole lot of bare wire here. And then we're going to tin it. Tinning simply means taking a little bit of solder and getting it ready to solder. The plug, having been used before, already has solder in it, so we don't have to do anything with that. Um, on a circuit board or something, I may suck all the solder out, but here I'm really not going to worry about it. As long as we get these wires cleaned up and tinned a little bit, we'll be in good shape. There we go. There are a lot of different kinds of tools to use. I use a good old-fashioned when or weller soldering gun almost all the time, except for when I'm doing micro circuits. When I'm working on tiny circuit boards like computer motherboards, I will grab one of my low wattage guns. For pretty much everything else, once you get used to using a big hot gun, there's nothing quite as easy. All I'm doing here is putting a little bit of solder on the end of those wires. So when I get ready to stick them into the uh, plug, they'll stick. This uh, blue wire actually got broken when it came out. I assume what happened is somebody unplugged a microphone cord and ripped the whole thing out because the set screw was loose. And that caused it to also damage the insulation in that little wire right there. That's got to be covered up. We can't leave it like that. Um, it could possibly have an intermittent short against the metal case, and that would be very irritating when they're trying to use the mic. After we're done putting it together, I'll put a little tiny dab, or I'll isolate the inside of the case with a little piece of tape. Um, that's too small to put heat shrink on where it's at right now. From the wiring diagram, we learned that the red wire goes next to the black. Now, the black wire isn't a wire at all. It's a little thing that pushes against the case to ground it. So, a red wire goes to this middle terminal right here. And we're going to do this really simply. I've got a little third hand here. That ready. Uh, we remember that heat rises, and remember there are two things you're trying to do. You're trying to make sure that both of these are hot enough so the solder adheres. We already tinned this red wire, so all we have to do is melt the solder on the wire. It's so much smaller than the big terminal. I'm pretty sure by the time we get that big terminal hot that we're not going to have any problems getting this wire to go in there and stay. You want to hold it completely still while it's cooling, or else you can crystallize it. And we just have to wait for it to get hot. Heat rises, so we always want to go from the bottom if we can. I'm blowing on it. Simply because it makes it happy. Now, to cool it off a little bit faster. And then we have to get our blue wire in there. This blue wire is a little more messed up. I'm going to have to find something to hold it. A little bit shorter than the red. What I'm going to attempt to do in this case is actually get that to sit about where it goes. There's a lot to hold on here, hold on to here. And once this melts, I got a little pressure on it, it's going to fall right into place here. And we might pop a little solder on top of this one because at the factory, this one did not have a whole lot of, a whole lot of solder in it. I'm putting a tiny bit of solder on the tip here. That's just for heat transfer. Hot. Okay. 
Okay, that looks good. Okay, we've got really a decent solder joint there. Got that little break in the wire that I'm going to insulate for. And we should be able to put this back together and, and test it. I'm going to grab a little tape for the inside of the barrel. So all I'm going to do, that tiny little crack, we just want to mitigate the possibility of that touching anything. I just stuck a little piece of messy tape around it. It's not going to fall off because there's not a heck of a lot of room in here. And then we're going to get this so that the this set screw here actually gets backed out of uh, against this hole. And that's what holds the whole thing in. And more than likely what happened is the set screw came loose. And I'll make sure it's nice and tight. And by the way, it's backwards. You turn it to the right. It is righty-tighty. But you're turning it to the right, and it's a left-handed thread, so it's backing out to get in, uh, put pressure against this to keep it from moving. And we need to get it nice and tight. Make sure it doesn't back out again. And that should be good. Now we'll grab a mic cord and test it. Okay, to the test the cord, I've got my Behringer Acoustic here. It's actually one of the very first amps I bought to fix, and uh, it had a bad. It had been actually caught on fire. It physically, one of the speakers had caught on fire when its output chip shorted out. Um, so I've had this for years, many years. I'm wiggling, I'm wiggling the thing around. around. There's, There's no, no static, static or anything, so the mic's in good shape. Well, it was a muscle. What's wrong with me? My hands, my hands are shaking, shaking like a leaf on a tree. I'm proud to say that she's my buttercup. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. 